Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Jesus Story Rock Ministries, where we preach Christ and Christ crucified. This is your servant Lillian, and today we are going on for our series, The Believer. We are looking into part 18. Pay attention to your words. Pay attention to your words. Please stay tuned till the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please smash that notification button so you will never miss a thing we post. Let's get into it. Pay attention to your words. Mark chapter 11 verse, 30, verse 23 says, For verily I say unto you, that whatsoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. The believer must place a premium, a premium on, his, on his words. The need to pay attention to words that we speak is often overlooked, seen as in, inconsequently, inconsequential. However, a, vi a vital question to ask is, if you realize that all you said going forward would come to pass, how differently would you speak? This is because that is a fact in our speaking. The believer is not of this world, like we can see in 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, to five. First John chapter five verse four to five. He has the spirit of God in him. The Ephesians chapter Ephesians chapter one verse thirteen. First Corinthians chapter three verse sixteen and first Corinthians chapter six verse nineteen. He, ha, he is not to be conformed to this word. Romans chapter twelve verse two. The word conformed was translated from a word that means to fashion alike. The devil is the prince or ruler of this world. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1 to 3. His kingdom is in, in the heart of the unsaved man. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 3, verse, verse 3 to 6. But the believer is born of God. 1 John chapter 5 verse 1. He is born of the spirit. John chapter 3 verse 6. That is his nature. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 to 25. As is to recognize this in his speaking, he is not to speak as one who does not have the Spirit of God. Salvation is received by believing the gospel. A man is saved by hearing the message of the gospel. The gospel has to be spoken to him. Romans chapter 10 verse 13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Verse 14, how then shall they call on him who, in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Verse 15, and how shall they preach except that they be sent? And as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of God uh, of good time of good things verse 16 but they have not all obeyed the gospel for Isaiah said said Lord who had believed who have believed our report verse 17 so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God the gospel is the message of Jesus death burial and resurrection like we can see in first Corinthians chapter 15 verse 1 to 4 of Romans chapter 10 verse 9 to 10 he, he believed in his heart and spoke with his mouth that he had believed in his heart and he has he was saved therefore his words made him receive salvation a service and receive eternal life so he must recognize that words has have eternal life jesus spoke of the importance of words matthew chapter 12 verse 36 says but he said unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment verse 37 for by thy word thou shalt be justified and by thy word thou shalt be con condemned he said a man receives justification by his words. Solomon also spoke about the importance of words in the Old Testament text of the Bible. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 20 says, A man's belly shall be testified with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Verse 21, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. The words eat fruit tree are terms figuratively used to refer to words. 
Matthew chapter 7 verse 15 to 21, Matthew chapter 12 verse 31 to 37. Adam's sin in Genesis chapter 3 was in words. The book of Genesis was written by Moses. The events he documented were communicated to him in a vision. A vision would be a combination of both the literal and the figurative. For example, Acts chapter 10 verse 10 to 43, Peter was told to kill and eat unclean animals in his vision. Interpreting, interpreting it literally would not have explained that this was in reference to the gospel being preached to the gentle nations. Acts chapter 11 verse 1 to 18. Romans chapter 5 verse 12. As by one man sins entered into the world. Romans chapter 5 verse 19. As by one man's of disobedience. The word disobedience means a refusal to hear. This means words were communicated to him but he did not receive it. What was communicated to him? Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fall of the hair, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. The plan of God was for man to be in the image of and likeness of God. The word image was translated from a word that means a figure. The word likeness describes a similitude that is to be found in another location. Therefore, the image and likeness of God would mean God found in humanity as a man. Jesus is called the image of God. The word image in Colossians chapter 1 verse 15 was trans translated from a word that was historically used for craftsmen. It means to carve on another surface such that you would not be able to distinguish the two. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 says the express image of his person. The word express image means to reproduce exactly. It does not refer to a photocopy. So Adam was to receive sonship through Jesus Christ. This was communicated in the tree of life. Genesis chapter 2 verse 17 is the first mention of the word death in the Bible. Death refers to this absence of life. Death can only happen because there is life. Adam's choice outside life was death. Like we can see in Romans chapter 5 verse 12. So there was the promise of life at the beginning. John chapter 1 verse 4. John chapter 14 verse 6. In Christ is this life. So Adam's choice outside Christ was seen. How then was it expressed? Proverbs chapter 18 verse 20 says. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth. And with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. The phrase the tongue here is not the physical tongue. It rather refers to words. The word lips refers to words. So Adam spoke words in unbelief. This means that words determ determine a man's eternity. Furthermore, in Mark chapter 16 verse 17, Jesus also shows that spirits respond to words. In my name, you shall cast out demons. The term cast out shows it involves speaking. The first demonstration we see about God in Genesis was to speak. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Verse 4. And God saw the light that is, was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. Verse 5. And God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, and God saw, and God called. It was used consequently in verse 9, verse 10, verse 11. And God said, and God called, verse 14, verse 20, verse 22, verse 24, verse 25, verse 26, verse 28, verse 29, verse 31. And God said, God called, and God saw. So God kept speaking, not God thought or God believed. This vividly points the fact that everything that was created was created via words. The word said means to utter it. 
words are uttered that are audible enough for a, a third part a third party to hear genesis chapter 1 verse 5 and god called the light day and the darkness he called night and the evening and the morning were the first day the word called means to do something and let everyone know that you have done that is the result of what i said is this it applies that to say something and to affirm it Therefore, the fact is that every action of God was pre uh, preceded by speaking and the record we have of things that came to pass were the things God said. God said, God called, and God saw. That means if you want to see it, you have to say it. Also, in this sp speaking, it must be clear, unambigu unambiguous, loud. Jesus demo demonstrated this too. He was a master of words. He spoke words consciously. The believer should learn to give account of his words. First Peter chapter 2 verse 21. For even ere to where he called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Verse 22. Who did no sin, neither was guilt, found in his mouth the word girl means something unusual to untrap the word mouth is is in reference to words his words no fault was found in his words john chapter 1 verse 47 jesus mastered his words john chapter 7 verse 55 to 50 uh, verse 45 to 46 no one spoke like him matthew ch chapter 26 verse 20 verse 61 and 65 he was said to speak as one who had authority what was a, a remarkable a, a remarkable about him were his words he spoke unambiguously john chapter 6 verse 35 and Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Verse 40, 31. The Jews then murmured at him, because he said, I am the bread which come down from heaven. The Pharisees sought, that, uh, sought to kill him for his word. That was how he functioned in the earth. John chapter 6 verse 51 I am the living bread which can which come down from heaven if any man eat of this bread he shall live forever and the bread that I will give is my flesh which I will give for the life of the world John chapter 8 verse 12 then spoke Jesus unto them saying I am the light of the world he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. John chapter 9 verse 5. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. John chapter 10 verse 7. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. Verse 9. I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pastor verse 11 i am the good shepherd the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep john chapter 10 verse 14 i am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine verse 36 say ye of him whom the father has sanctified and sent unto the world Thou blasphemest, because I say, I am the Son of God. John 11, verse 25. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, thou he were dead, ye shall he live. John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. John chapter 15 verse 1 I am the true vine and my father is the husband man Brothers and sisters a believer must therefore learn to place value on his words speak up boldly loudly and unambiguously 
to make your your belief known to make your faith known to all i call you blessed never forget the word of god is our final authority this is your servant lillian shalom